Michael, you reset me. Yeah, I will. This is the race committee. Wind sampling complete. Race is live. Clearance to race. Race number 15 in the Louis Vuitton Cup Challenger Selection Series. Coming in off port will be the New York Yacht Club's American Magic, and in starboard will be the defender, Emirates Team New Zealand. A good chance to size each other up in perfect sailing conditions. American Magic taking last blood when they previously lined up, so really great battle shaping up here. I drive coming down a little here and racing. Okay, it's at point seven holding. Okay, no problems on the line. And clear to come down now. They are good to go as they enter in on time. Time and distance good for American Magic. Check out the starboard. Here comes Emirates Team New Zealand. It's on. Still, still right. Uh, wherever you want. They're going low. Go board. They're on two. I should spun straight off the line. Into the start. Line board up. Yeah, quite on. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to get some pressure above initially. Keeps it one for get. They're happy. I'm board. Okay, push it through. Yep. Emirates team is even following the into the yeah, boundary. Going for potential re roll. Funny for the pin, Pete. You're on both sides. Yeah, I'm probably happy to do that. It's come down to slow on two. What are you banging at? 20 for the pin. Yeah. 15 pin. He's going high two. now. And he got passed down him again. Yeah. 15 pin, 6 pin. Just below slow on day. Not much room to the left. That's a yeah, uh, chance again. Yeah. That's a kill. 10 to kill. 15 for the pin. Yeah, yeah. ties again. Above it. 11, 11 pin. It's still quite high there. Right? Yeah, that should right. be red here. Both boats just above yeah, the mark. They're going to yeah, start the red. And let's just start charging for that. Eight 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 eight
both boats sort of sailing in clear air and uh, really strategically placing themselves on the course. So, quick advantage, Emirates Team New Zealand. Yeah, what do you think of the breeze, Nate? It's not way better over this way. Uh, I think we can go soon. So I'm happy with that. Hey, yeah. button. Turning right, two, one, and four. This next exchange, Shirley, I think, is going to be quite a tight one. Still a few shifts out there, and pressure increases up and down, so very much a uh, so sailor's race. Side over there. I'll wait for them to settle. Join the dots. They're not laying. I think it's a small game to us, just see how we go Watch here. Watch your angle here a bit, Senna. That's the right of way boat. What side do you want of them, Andy? Circle. It's very similar to that, they've made a small circle, so. I think we want to it's gonna be almost, the right again. It's going to be almost too hard to hit here, guys. Gains back to American Magic here. And we can do it. Yeah, two, yeah, one, let's go down. Yeah, yeah. Let's just keep coming here. Find it up the touch front. Yep. Hey, you're two over, oh, three over here. Need to hold my wheel. I put it there. Just we enough space for the head, right. well called. Right here, okay, coming up into a higher group. That's still faster. Big push, big push, boys. Big speed advantage there. American Magic, so they've just got a little lefty and they've Trying used that speed there. advantage to sail the boat fast forwards on the jib. American Magic, I think we're expecting that tag. They got fast, they were reaching a little bit at them. You look at the track. Absolutely, look at the track. They were absolutely bowed down there. Done a brilliant job to get past Emirates Team New Zealand. Lead change on the first leg of race 15. And it will go in favour of American Magic. Well, I'll tell you what, Luna Rossa Prada probably really know what that's like when that was done to them pretty much by Emirates Team New Zealand a few days ago. And, uh, they'll be sort of gritting their teeth on that one. American Magic lead Emirates Team New Zealand around the top gate for the first time. Think about the downward case two, one, here we go, Pete. There we go. They went quite deep in their barrel way. So checking the ghost boat, tracking here. So this is a long job at the moment. Not a huge amount of shifty, shiftiness in the breeze, but pressure up and down, so just the velocity change in the breeze. The left was making gains up there, despite us being right And advantage American Magic. Probably no slower here. Very low power. So we're open course from there. Stand by. Put down here in three, two, one. Put down. Matches. Turning. Okay. Nice exit. This is the race committee. We are moving the windward gate, shifting the course axis to 072. 72. Just having a look. The yeah, pass here from American Magic over Emirates Team New Zealand and just pushing out them. Difference in boat speed, managing to sail over the top of Emirates Team New Zealand there for the pass. That's still faster. Using that extra speed. Big push, boys. Faster. After Emirates Team New Zealand tacked. No higher than that, 17. And uh, we saw a fantastic overtaking maneuver. Open course and lifting in. Let's go to the water chase zero. Peter Lester, impressed by American Magic. Absolutely, that was a lovely move at the top mark. Coming in full, then uh, just taking that windward gauge, and I was really impressed. At times, American Magic looks an absolute rocket, and uh, I think there that was a little bit of a warning shot, a eh, for the the defender of the Americas Cup. But I'm sure the challengers will now be going. Wow, American Magic in a bit of breeze. It's a big, big move to get the right mark currently for both boats. Uh, I don't think it's biggest, two job right, eh? Yeah, the biggest left we've seen. It's still trending left all the time, I think. We may go back and do two. Oh, that was aggressive, that aggressive covering. High risk, we've no? seen that a couple of times now. You actually have to be quite a long way ahead uh, to stay safe. Really, no. 
that eight knot, line. roughly eight knot the differential in speed. I think takes a while to rebuild, and if you've one and in left from coming the over speed as the give way so boat, the, uh, and then wind up, you can really use that over speed to your advantage and get over the top of the little boat. Okay, let's build speed and go right. So Stop both right. boats almost mirroring speed. each other's moves. Anything you can do, I can do better. Okay. My button here. And right now it's Stand advantage down in three. for New York Club's American One, Magic heading down. down to complete leg two, the first downward leg Stand of this six-leg match race. Okay. But like the what previous up? races, this is tight. This is really tight. And beautiful conditions off the coast of Barcelona. It's American Magic around first, leading the defender, Emirates Team New Zealand. Same, we got 35 this way. This is the optimal, optimal way to get to that top mark, but anything can happen if the teams decide to change tactics uh, like Emirates team is in it there right now. Slightly more where they are. Yeah, coming up. Really good pressure Maybe coming here. Pretty close. Take a big up, yeah. Onto yeah. American Magic's chase boat. Yeah, two. Coach two. Tom two. Burnham yeah, joins us. Uh, beautiful pass yeah. the, the, the first upward leg, Tom. Got to love that. Yeah, it was great. And it was a really good, uh, really good job by the guys at the top of that upwind leg. And, uh, and they're doing a really nice job at the bottom here, just trying to lock the race down if possible. Are, are these ideal conditions for American Magic? <laughs> they seem to be pretty good for us right now, but uh, it's pretty lumpy out here. It's probably wavier than people realize, but um, so it makes it pretty unstable. So there's still some still some scary moments to be had in this race, but the guys are sailing really well so far. All right, thanks for your time, mate. Thank you. He's continues. Okay, pressing here. Oh, he goes now. Okay, 25 seconds. Hi, Trav. You can build. Reason 75. American Magic choosing not to hit Emirates Team New Zealand on that tack, so all the way to the boundary. Okay. Pretty happy with that side of the course. Stand by. Down in three. Five. Nice tack, Goody. Nice work, guys. Okay, he's tacked back. Happy to let him go, eh? Sit down. It's what they want to do, and we're just going to take that time. 67 degrees, so it's a good little left at the moment. Yeah. Any time? Happy with that. If we that. go to open course, eh? Yeah. They'll be round to bound five. We're in phase. That's a nice it's game, boys. All the way to boundary for pressure. pressure left to me. It's the only no, thing Almost really halfway up, is you start thinking about the top Maybe. marks when you get a chance to look nice up. Nice slow It's a big righty. Most boats think they're in phase. Happy with that line on the boundary. We got 25 this oh, way. Here all the time. Together. Yeah, nice. Think more to come in 15. Ever Alex do all the time? Lining themselves up to hit us better on this one. They carry on. Yeah, they they carry on, on mate. <laughs> okay. All the way. Yeah, just there. 85. Fine. Shit, did. Yeah, very nice games on this one. Hell yeah. Right, coming into more now. Hey, hit would go straight away. Wide boat here yeah, now. Lane. American yeah. Magic. Emirates Team New Zealand. Definite gains there on that last exchange. Be interesting to see what the Americans do here. Talking about going to late. Oh, I should have taken the side of us on the left turn. This angle there. Fantastic again. battle here. It's 15. Okay, stand by. And 3, 2, 1. And turning forward. Speed still building. 
that lead advantage coming down all the time. Surely a li little bit more of an open course there. So American Magic no allowing Emirates Team New Zealand to split there. So a lot of gauge between the two boats. So a small wind shift here will make a big difference on the return and the uh, the next inter intersection. Uh, he's tacking back on my line. When Emirates Team New Zealand tack, they will have right of way. They will be on starboard. What do you like? A boat and we're, only in just, it. we're only crossing by two and, and a half. Just three, across so. Coming up to complete the halfway stage of yeah. Race of 15 of the Louis Vuitton Cup so Challengers Selection Series. Yeah. And it's close. Yeah. It's really close. Yeah. Happy to press a little to Apex yeah. in my wheel. American Magic still with the lead as they take the left hand mark and head down for leg number four. Emirates Team New Zealand take the opposing mark. The chase is not over for the defender. Nothing in it here, guys. Oh, yeah. Right to left. Hey, stop by. Happy to carry on in this. We three. should see further right down the bottom. Slightly so, lighter though, unfortunately. Uh, nothing in this race here. That's a question. I yeah. think it looks better forward a than a jibe at the moment. Probably. Very nice angle. Really nice jibe there on American but Magic. That'll be a keeper. Just see the angle of the boat there sailing, surely. Looks like they're getting a nice little line of breeze as they head down there. Like the pressure is close left. Yeah, yeah, really, like really, really close yeah. intersection coming up here, I think. Yeah. Okay, we've made a small gain, but not a lot. This is and the race committee. We are moving the windward gate, shortening the course to 1.65 nautical miles and shifting the axis to 070. That's a nice breeze and righty, so it's in phase here. The question is, is, do you want to go to boundary or do you want to step down? So look at that number. Right now we're just going to take this all the way and wait yes. for it to lift. And when we come back, neither boat will be on lay for gate. Phases are quite long, it seems. So yeah. 50 off the line lasted their whole beat, and this one's felt like it's gone back, you know, the whole upwind and in from now. Okay, we should get to lay here, especially with a bit of a lift. If we lift, we do. So, Pete Burling there, nice looking out to Lewin from the Lewin cockpit, basically talking about the bottom sector of the course there, turning into a sort of tactician nice. navigator, Nathan Average on the handlebars. Lead change. Uh, no. Lead change on the fourth leg of six. Emirates Team New slide, Zealand back in front, yeah, but for how long? Really interesting listening to the comments on Emirates Team New Zealand, sharing the decision making, letting the decisions almost evolve as it goes on, even at 40 knots, <laughs> they're doing that. So Emirates Team New Zealand will lose about two boat lengths in this jibe versus American Magic. So keeping that in mind, American Magic possibly will re-overtake, but they hey, are the giveaway boat. Right now. So bow and bow here. And you're all very close to laying fast mode, aside, fast mode and work it out at the bottom. It's even gate for the wind. What do you think? think, Andy? What can you see? American Magic ducking there. Can't really see the bottom right of the course right now. It feels like it's windier in the middle of the course and right shift. Hey, hey, so stand by. Down. Uh, look further. Okay, happy here. It's a living, it's a living game of chess on the water here today, and it is providing us with some spectacular AC75 racing in the last race of the day of day four of the Louis Vuitton Challenger Selection Series, heading into that bottom gate to complete the fourth leg. It's a slight lead to Emirates Team New Zealand after losing the lead on the first upwind leg. Four downs, powering up. Keep it for the round up, okay. Big round up. Yeah. Tight rounding of the mark by Emirates Team New Zealand. They whip Tehoto around it, followed by Patriot closely. Two legs to go. Stand by. Two, one, point down. Speed slow. A down speed tack there for American Magic. 
be a bit of a deficit now. Not many options there, staying in the dirt of Emirates Team New Zealand. Still a very wide open race though, if they can just get a little sniff out there, they'll be in touch with this next exchange. It's going back right now. Want to take this back across? Let's go on board the chase boat of Emirates Team New Zealand. Ray Davies will be probably gripping the seat quite uh, tightly there. This is a ripper, Ray. Yeah, it's a ripper, all right. Uh, it's a um, yeah, sensational race. It's all go out here. What did you make of that uh, pass on the first upwind leg by American Magic? Yeah, look, they did a great job. Uh, we had the initial lead off the line in the first exchange, and we protected the right-hand side, and the left-hand side paid at the end of that first beat, and um, they did a really good job of making a pass there, and they had pretty good composure at the top of the course, and then, um, but the race is never over, and it's certainly not over yet. We've got plenty to play for. Uh, good to be in the lead at the moment. What's impressing you about your team at the moment? Uh, just keeping the same consistency through whether you're ahead or behind. They've got really good composure and um, uh, just, just keeping cool. Thanks, buddy. And um, one more thing, just like to wish Glenn Ashby happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Good mate. On you, cops. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs> Have a beer later. This is the race committee. We are moving the finish line. Course axis is now 068 and length is now 1.6 nautical miles. Let's go on to Chase Zero. Peter, upper hand, Emirates Team New Zealand. Well, that was an impressive pass. They're ripping this course up like a Carolina Reaper. They really are. To, to come back and to get around American Magic, impressive. American Magic, love these conditions, bouncy conditions. These are the races that you need at this level. Better pressure this side as well all the time. I like where we're going here. Yeah, no, I like his side. He's tacked. I think we go back. Stand by. Put down here in three, two, one. And turning. So American Magic trying to get out of phase now with Emirates Team New Zealand. So Emirates Team New Zealand in a build phase now. And hard for them to tack back at all. Cough up a little bit of ground to try and shut them down. And American Magic immediately responding. Keep the same process here, eh? Okay. So this will be an absolute leg burner for the cyclers. Two quick manoeuvres. Same thing. They'll be valve bouncing there. Twenty seconds. We have been experiencing some absorbing racing on this final day of round robin number one. It has really been a treat just to watch these boats have a go at each other and go back and forth, back and forth. He comes back. Nice pressure here. It's winding up a touch now, right? Yeah, okay, a little fast. He's probably going to go on us. So keep your speed, please. Now we're over. Yeah. Uh, it's tripping. It's tripping off. 32 7. Happy to go here. One more down. Uh, it's gone. It's Just doing the one, one for left. That's uh, gates are even at that. So happy. Nice, cool, calm comms there. It's Blair Chug. This way. Got good vision of up the course as well with screens. Can chip in tactically as well. Anytime. Button. Two, one, and board. Fantastic 3D there of how many manoeuvres the boats have done and, and huge button. amount of oil being moved there for the cyclers. It's just starting to trend left here, my wheel. Here Top we gate five. for the final time in this the 14th race of the Louis Vuitton and Cup five. Challenger Selection Series. The nice defender of the 37th America's Cup. Emirates Team New Zealand rounding the mark and heading home. Is there anything more to play out? Stay with us and find out. Yeah, it looks okay, moderate. No, no, lower than this. American wheel. Magic coming into the left hand mark okay, as you see it. Here in three, two, one, your wheel. Ah! Oh, a little skid there, massive leeway the skid the there Sorry. to windward. American Correct Magic, ones. they'll be a little bit out of whack here for a little bit, getting it back under control. I think they've actually lost the rudder slightly there, so. 
real wobbly moment there, American Magic. It's coming away a touch. Hi, Travis. Just stay with it, Travis. It's 15 seconds. Just got it back under control there. Stand by. Three, two, one. It's turning. But when you think about it, and Shirley, I'll come to you on this one. Those moments there, if this was the match, those are the ones you don't want to happen if you're in the match, right? These are, this is what the cup's all about. The, the minutiae of being out on that course and those little, those little errors. This is such a good race for American Magic, isn't it? It's the ultimate test against the defender in a race which doesn't really, doesn't count for anything. Uh, no prizes for this race, but goodness, they have sailed well. the best wind speed. Made very few mistakes and will end this race. Really positive about the day. I totally agree, Shirley. Yeah, they will have a good fun. gauge Feels on pretty, uh, good their the performance right and their opponents, so yeah. very valuable lessons. Good for our last time doing this. There we go. Uh, just got to watch the chopper puffs around here. Couple on his shoulder. Brilliant shot there of what it's like yeah, to get a ride. Too low, eh? In the cockpit of an AC-75. Take the recovery. Not too many available seats for passengers, but... Uh, That's a chopper puff. Be a little bit over the side. Keep it fast in the chopper puff, mate. Yep. Okay, let's jump in and get On and board. That's right. Just hold. A lot of confidence also for the defender. A couple of days ago, this boat was in bits in in the shed really with a hole in it, that. and they have pushed hard today, done everything oh, we were that they the wanted one. to do. The yeah. on the wrong spot. Not many room for passengers, but the whole team riding on board that boat right now. Emirates and Team New Zealand in race 14 of the Louis Vuitton Cup Challenger Selection Series lost the lead on the first up one leg but just hung in there and they will get the job done and a W against American Magic again they make a statement you're going to have to work hard to beat us if you want to meet us in the match American Magic, they must have been feeling good when they got their initial pass. There were three lead changes in this race, but they will have learned a lot yet again. You face up to the team that you want to face, if you get there, you need to learn as much as you can as they cross the line. Stand by, down in two, one. Confirmation race 15, and it's Emirates Team New Zealand with just under 30 second win against new, the New York Yacht Club's American Magic.